We did a study where we looked at bisphosphonates um, in women um, who, had, who were treated, undergoing treatment with neoadjuvant chemotherapy who were given a bisphosphonate at the time of their chemotherapy. And we looked for these disseminated tumor cells pre and post um, chemotherapy. And half the women were randomized to a bisphosphonate and half, half not. And we found that the bisphosphonates decreased the risk. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, in those patients who were treated with the bisphosphonate, they had fewer, um, they had fewer um, uh, disseminated tumor cells in their bone marrow. And in addition, in a subgroup analysis, we found that triple negative patients um, had a decreased, who received bisphosphonates, had a decreased risk of developing metastatic disease. And both these studies have been published. Um, but the mechanism of action is supposed, to, is, is supposed to be, um, is hypothesized to be an effect on the bone marrow microenvironment. And what's hypothesized is that bone, is that cancer cells in the bone marrow or even tumors can release activators of the bone marrow which cause increased bone turnover, increased activation of um, tumor enhancing cells which can go and help metastatic disease form, you know, help cause the release of tumor cells or cause factors which enhance the, um, the metastatic potential of these cells while they're residing in the bone marrow and create a, create a more um, favorable niche for these cells in the bone marrow. And so by turning off the, the um, osteoclasts in, in decreasing bone turnover, there's, um, there's a decrease in the release of these, of these growth factors and so it creates a more hostile environment for the disseminated tumor cells which are in the bone marrow.